What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back and if you're watching this pretty recently following my, following the, the recent quote unquote drama, you know, you'll know, you'll remember that I've lost all my saves to start from scratch and if you're one of the people that are watching this in the future and you've got through all of these parts, you've got to now and gone, why is he starting again? Why is he starting again? Um, well, more or less, I've lost all my saves so I'm carrying on, I've got to restart this campaign because I'm quite early on. So let's get on to it. It's hard, hard world domination. Although it's going to be true world domination. Um, so that should be fun. Um, so I was very, very... And this is this is part 10. And it's also quote-unquote part 1. So it is going to be an hour special. But it actually gives us quite a good chance to right a few wrongs. Because a one thing that was really causing me issues was and also recording in 60 fps so i'm keen to see how that turns out um so i declared war on france or became entwined with war against france and i i thought well, that's the fairly logical conclusion of my declaration of war against spain but i forgot about the piece of advice i mentioned in my united provinces campaign which was to declare war on New Spain because New Spain is a protector of Spain so you will probably be sucked into war with Spain itself but you will not have to worry about the Spanish allies so you won't have to worry about France there is a chance that New Spain won't get involved there's a chance that Spain sorry won't get involved but judging by its, pos its possessions here I suspect they will what I'm also going to do is I am not going to get so entwined to make sure I capture these islands. And priority will be mainland Italy. And unless unless Genoa is being particularly frustrating. So that's where my main strategy is going to be different. I'm going to declare war on New Spain rather than Spain alone. I want to get rid of the Jesuit College. Get back into reinvesting in all my... All, all my farms. Get my gentleman ready for the school to be researched. Let's get my spy. Don't go into Naples. Go into Italy. I'll go into Venice. He's been spotted. Let's upgrade the workshops. And before we upgrade the barracks and such. Actually, we do need the barracks to get line infantry. So let's get the barracks. And let's also try and build something useful prior to that being built so if I went for that two sets of guns and some horse artillery actually no I've already got two sets of guns just a unit of horse artillery just a unit of artillery will probably suffice let's also check on our infrastructure good and let's also build a sloop to occupy our port and we also want to go through who are we friends with and who do we not want to be at war with. So we want to be at war with... We want to be friendly with France. Let's get them trading. Oh, that's going to be our only opportunity. Except trading with Venice, but I don't want to trade with Venice because Venice sucks. Let's check our ministers. I could probably... Should probably have, well, I, could, I don't really remember where I was at. Plus one, plus one happiness, plus one treasury, plus one management one for the army so this guy is plus three four five for treasury can you go anywhere else no you're just pretty good at that and you particularly you've reduced the clamor for a form which is pretty nice so you're plus five management you're probably quite good as a justice plus one army plus one treasury plus one well you're better than the guy who's in there now a navy guy plus one justice always please he's five justice but he also reduces um happiness with the lower classes which being an absolute monarchy we don't really want so mm, you're the same plus one treasury plus one army mm, no one really stands out to replace my navy guy So fortunately the minus one nobility, minus one happiness nobility and plus one happiness nobility cancel out. Yeah, this is probably pretty good where it is actually at the moment. Um, can't research anything because I don't have a school. So, let's hit in turn. 
So I'm going to I'm going to be releasing a whole bunch of Italian states videos on the trot. So I don't have cuz if I start them all one after another, both my Italian states and my Ottoman campaigns would be on part 10. And the new campaigns which at the, at the time of recording haven't actually been picked yet. Right now it's it is Knights of St John on 23 with the Louisiana on 20 and then I think it's Great Britain on 18 They're, at the time of recording anyway those were the, those were the um, those were the ones that were ahead um, yes we're going to release f five Italian states episodes on the trot then I'm going to start bringing the Ottoman, Ottoman campaign then we're going to release a handful more before we bring into the one of the new campaigns a handful more to the next campaign just so we've got a spread of episode numbers at least Border Club between the United Provinces and Spain, Poland and Prussia, Prussia and Austria, Russia and Sweden, Maracas and Portugal, and we've recruited some stuff. Probably get away with recruiting some militia, really. Let's build that school. That keeps us busy. I mean, realistically, I could declare on Spain now, which I think I might, just to help speed things along. Oh, I almost fell for it then. Minor nations, New Spain. Declare war. Spain has joined them. So I can probably take... You guys. Yeah, maintain siege. They got mortars. And I got, actually, yeah, they got pr proper provincial lines. So you guys... Hold steady while we recruit some militia, but we're still gonna we're gonna get the ball rolling on reclaiming our former possessions. And now we are at war with Spain without having to worry about France. And they're trying to sally out. Perfect. So let's deploy to the back. Tear them to tear them to bits with our guns. We don't have grape shot yet. Um, my my research is going to be fairly similar to. My last campaign, I'm going to focus on Grape Shot first, then go for Bayonet, because I've got the artillery now. The radar map allows you an Quiet, you. Okay. Let's deploy back. They do have the infantry advantage. So I'm going to need my artillery to do work. And, at a certain point, to push up my pikemen for the melee attack and get my generals involved as well. Deploying your infantry back. So speed up time. Oh no, the waters are firing. I'm going after my pikes, which isn't a bad idea. Pull everyone back. I have no scruples at this, doing this, t doing this because it allows me to keep my forces intact. And it gives me a better opportunity to, well I can send my cavalry around to clear out their mortars, although it looks like they're not going to change their mind. It looks like they're going to continue firing into nothingness about here. So I do need to be careful. I might send my general to go take care of their... Actually, it looks like one team of gunners has already abandoned their pieces. But yes, the likely output is going to be... It's probably going to be swarming. Get both these guns to focus on this single unit first. But I'm probably going to send a bunch of, infantry, bunch of my pikes in to swarm them. Keep time increasing. So we're going to shoot those gunners to bits. You guys focus on that unit because they're sat in a convenient position. The 
their sack side on. Although it looks like they want to be... Oh, this, this unit, sorry. Yeah, so 30 men killed. Because they decided, to, they decided to march on. In a very handy position to allow crossfire, the crossfire to mow down multiple troops. Like so. So let's get my general to, ready to move. Because that is actually their general. So if we can kill him, they'll all be very upset when it comes to morale. Okay, it looks like they've started their attack, so get my general to charge straight into their mortars. They're both focusing on the fifth. Which is good. You need to keep focusing that weak unit. You guys can also focus on that unit. It is important to preserve the devastating impact a cavalry unit can have. Quiet, you. I know you're just militia. The general isn't threatened, not really. There we go, so I've killed the general, so that'll be handy from a morale perspective. Hit the fourth because they're already wavering. And they're already broken, so this cavalry unit is absolutely going to chase them down in order to mow down their number. That leaves these two units to mow down their other infantry. My general can come over here. See, they're shattered now, so we haven't got to worry about them. Technically, but let's keep going. There you go, we're going to draw their line of infantry combat, their line of infantry into combat against our pikemen. See, I think it's giving me all this because it's my first actual campaign, so they're giving me all, my, all the advice. Bring my infantry back to go hit the garrison line because they're actually doing okay, allegedly. Let's pull my general back. If I can get these guys to smack into that unit, that'd be pretty handy. Push my infantry out because that should. Knock them out. Third Regiment Garrison line has been broken. But let's make it shattered. Good. We've got pike units. They're doing good work. Let's keep my general chasing down the fourth just to keep getting those kills. There we go. Broken armies. Absolutely continue. Let's stop our artillery from firing. Those are the guys to kill because there's so many of them. Actually, those are the guys to kill because they're so... They're clumped together. Which, from a number of kills perspective, makes them much better. They're going to route everyone onto this unit. But they're going to route too. So that's just this unit up on the hill. Damn right, it was decisive. Without very many men. Thanks to a few chain routes. Right, lost 114, 
and I lost 884. So the city's going to be gobbled up pretty darn quickly, and then that'll be Naples secured, and then we will want to develop a port in Toronto. Or at least somewhere we'll want to develop a port. Winning a battle um, isn't just about greater numbers. The ba yeah, we're probably going to get a whole Faith bunch of... Lost in My population is getting war weary. Is no Should really have turned off the advice. That never... This <laughs> doesn't happen very often. This tab shows all existing buildings in the selected town or... War declared with Austria and the Ottomans, which is perfect. All our vineyards have been built. I mean, we can auto that. Secure Naples. Let's rebuild the government building. Let's get our troops replenished and then back Uomini. to Rome. Avanti. So when are you going to build eight turns? You want to get Syracuse, which we will build this time into a port. And let's keep the church school. Actually, no, we don't need to, we don't need it to be we don't need it to be a church school because every round is Catholic. Awesome. Some militia in Italy because we will need to march on to Genoa. Let's make sure there's no problems that will cause us. Genoa is allied with Savoy. Savoy might be allied with France. Nope, they're just allied together. So we declare on one, we declare on all. So I think because Venice is quite happy with us for the meantime. And we're not currently... Oh, Venice is allied with Austria. That's not so good. Um, I think we'll end up pushing west, taking this pocket. And then we'll probably go back to, the, go back to attack Venice. Because we have no need to push on into France. Because, well, no need for now, because we are friends. Okay, let's drop our policies down for the lower classes because they are the people most upset by our government style. So Florence is going to develop into another building. Let's head into it. So now we've managed to be at war with Spain and we can also attack most of Northern Europe without, or well, Northern Italy, without France being at war with us. Britain will declare I would almost guarantee. But this is why this time we're going to be a bit more careful and develop a navy. And I do hope you ship that navy, that army off somewhere else, Venice. The Barbary States are being scallywags. Yeah, just a bit more stuff about our national capital. You're all replenishing. We can start to actually build some infantry now. I need to keep closing these just to make sure they don't come up again. Okay, we've got another one more turn till our agent till our um, school's been built. Can't build any more line infantry, but we can build a farm. Or we can upgrade this to a not quite useful building. Let's upgrade this to a peasant farm. So Rome. So Rome's got barracks. Iron workshops and cobbled roads. Awesome. I don't think it's possible to trade with... Well, it's possible to trade with Venice, but I don't want to trade with Venice because we will be at war with them. We're indifferent. Well, Spain is indifferent, so... Let's see if we can carefully cultivate taking Milan and Cagliari and see if we can get peace. Because that would be quite the coup. Hopefully New Spain sufficiently tangled up abroad that it means we don't have to worry about them. We're not going to suddenly get a doom stack come out of nowhere. Nope. Trade agreement cancelled with France. That's not good. But let's get a new trade agreement with the Ottomans for now. Because the Ottomans are at least... We could like, yeah. Maybe we should keep the, pro the Austrian trades, the Austrian ports open, especially if we're actually going to materially benefit from them. Okay, let's make you a craft workshop, so let's upgrade the government building to a magistrate in Naples. Let's take this army. 
march you up to the border and just march you up to go take Milan multi-10 multi moods and so on so we've got a school so the first thing I'm going to want to do is to get canister shot maybe do I get plug bay no canister shot's more useful plug bayonets are very much a last ditch type thing And as my economy develops, I'd like to really develop a second army in Rome and send that to go island hopping rather than my main armies. Because that was a problem previously. Is like I had the, I had some really decent troops actually attacking those islands, which it, it would actually be more helpful. Ooh, go on, Knights of St. John. Yes. God, they're going to be a hard campaign to play. So much harder. Right now, you've got the Knights of St. John and Louisiana up top. And they are going to suck. <laughs> Just because Louisiana, and the same with, you know, with the Knights of St. John, really. They don't have like a normal town like Istanbul or Rome, which has all these different unit-producing buildings. I just have... Well, with Knights of St. John, I have my capital, and that's it. To be honest, I might just keep him out to prevent him from getting spotted. New port emerges in Syracuse. Good. Shipyard. So we start to actually try to recruit some troops. And I think another port does develop. Yeah, Toronto. So in 38 turns, so there's no rush on making this a trade port. In Go on, Mr. Let's go take him out. So being a lot more, a lot more aggressive, a lot more dominant in, in, in this part, mainly because I want to try to build myself back up to where I was as quickly as possible, relatively, because I can't do much about research speeds. Okay, so let's drop my guns up on this hill. Let's drop a unit of pikes and a unit of. Militia, militia to defend them. Let's just take our line infantry and our pikes. They will advance through the town because they're more able to put up with a bit of a bit of a scrap. Our militia are going to go out on the flank, where they can rely on open field firepower a bit more. Same with my cavalry. See, this is the danger, is that right now some of these troops can't form squares or anything. So we need to keep my pikes nearby. Let's move my infantry up to secure the town. I've got a, a regiment of foot infantry. Which might actually be able to put us into a bit of a tricky spot, but to be honest, I can bring all these guns to bear, so... charging but you guys are going to in get intercepted by them let's move my conventional infantry in my cavalry can move not fall back but move further to the rear If you guys want to stay where you are, I'll move in my pike boys to come and say hello. Oh, go on, if you can just clip them before they run away. Well, there's a man.
to move my pikes to... Apologies for that, guys. I had a bit of a weird situation where the game just kind of glitched and my recording stopped and corrupted. So that was fun. But we managed to capture Madrid. We ended up crushing them on the right, and then the forces in the town actually fell very quickly. So let's repair. And replenish as much as we can. And what else can we do? Do we recruit? Oh, we can't recruit anything because we're too busy repairing and doing all that stuff. Cool. You know, we've got Syracuse done. Lombardi's been captured. To be honest, let's move you over here instead. It's all fairly bog standard stuff. Okay, cool. Let's hit enter. Whew. Yes, we are blitzing through the um, through the game much quicker than previously. <laughs> I mean, ordinarily. Well, normally when it's well, when you record half hour parts, it's not that I deliberately try and make them exactly half an hour. But usually, if it's like twenty six minutes, I'll probably try and find something to do unless it's a battle I'm particularly keen to fight or it's been a boring part um, but this time because I'm motivated to get back to where we were I'm much more aggressive the Ottoman Empire might be a bit of a different story because you're still such a lumbering beast it might be difficult to uh, sprint up nope don't worry once our port's ready we'll get you I do have intentions to go attack the Barbary States, but obviously in this campaign I've not made peace of them yet. So we've got the weavers, which is great. Craft workshop seems interesting, but so does. Adding a couple more troops. But then again, I need my economy to be really strong. So 2,000 will let me plus 900 region wealth, plus 10 to turn... plus 10 per turn in town wealth ah, so the weaver's cottage makes me less money but more growth I mean it's not really a choice I can have them both in a couple of turns the attempting thing is actually spend what money I need to keep to get these troops back up to fighting shape because we'll be at war with Savoy and Genoa at the same time, which will not be fun. So we might burn through a few turns just to get our research level up. So that we've got, even though our force may actually be smaller, we'll have a slight qualitative advantage. But I like to think of all the, the opportunities that are being given to us from simply not being at war with uh, France or Britain. Well, I mean, Britain can declare on us at any point, but... I mean, France is the same, but it's less of a direct chance now that France will get involved. At least, they're less likely to get involved as early as they otherwise did. But they're at war with us from the get-go, so that, that was always going to bite us in the ass. So let's build, build the Weaver's Cottage and let's build whatever this building is. No, I want the Rod Observatory. So you are fully recruiting. You want two more units of line infantry to march up next turn. So we've built a shipyard. Let's build a light galley just to hold it for now. Then I'll slowly start adding in fifth rates. Start to make a a light fleet to help keep our ports open and keep well and give us opportunities to attack through the Mediterranean into not well, attack through the Mediterranean to attack. Sicily and Corsica to go take Malta. That's what I'd like to do. Right now, what I'd like is for Austria to declare war on someone that Venice doesn't want. 
and for them to break their alliance. So we've got improved grenades. Not improved grenades, we've got caster shot, sorry. Go for square formation. Good, so let's march this infantry up to Milan. Let's start my promise. Let's build a start building a fifth rate fleet. Let's build iron workshops. Let's recruit another unit of guns to go north because we will be attacking them pretty aggressively. So let's try and take out their generalissimo. Nope. Well, they've worked out it was us. We're going to want to take... Oh, you want an alliance? Hmm. Hmm. But well, they'll, they'll probably just break it for me. They'll probably just break... If Britain declares on me, they'll probably abandon me. Yeah, why not? I'm not directly planning on expanding east just yet. I'm more likely to go land land in North Africa and take Malta. Let's do the Scipio Africanus route. Then probably take out Spain. We will become the true Catholic power, the sole Catholic power, once more. Okie doke. Yeah, the Barber State's moving in. Signore, avanti in marcia. To be honest, I suspect they're probably not going to get their guns in time. Try to take out their general once more. Nope. But they will hate me more and more. Let's build it. Add another fifth rate onto the queue. And actually might want to build up Naples but not to a gov not to a military building let's keep it as a governor's mansion actually let's check our infrastructure That's something we have not done let's build some roads because you're growing pretty decently let's get that last gun team up then we'll go and hit Savoy I thank Christ I haven't. So I record using a software called Bandicam. Bandicam has a default setting of where there is no cha change in frame. It will stop recording. So if you're stuck on a turn, say, watching the Ottoman Empire, it will just stop recording, which is obviously a massive pain in the backside. Good, you've got the Weaver's Cottage... Let's move the gun team up. Got two units of cavalry. Let's go. What to build? Happiness building is a pretty good shout. I'll keep the infrastructure spending going is also good, especially as I'm in Italy. One more turn. I've got square formation. I think I've got my first fifth rate has been produced out of Syracuse so things are going pretty good I was so thankful because I've got my recording software open on my other monitor and I've also got the folder open where it will dump the raw footage so when I had that cut it didn't change to a thumbnail of a slide from the video, which immediately sent alarm bells off. Alarm bells ringing. Um, but then I think it must just have been, I don't know, figuring itself out. Because then the recording came back. And originally I just thought, oh, crap, I'm just going to can it. Because I've, I've recorded about half an hour of an episode and all that footage is now broke. Um, okay, so you've got square formation. So they're going to go on to bayonets. And bayonets is very useful. Got another one of those buildings. Okay. So let's not attack. Let's not spend any money yet. As tempting as it is to buy things. Especially as we've started to get our navy. 
but I want to build up a bit of a war chest in the event of Turin. Well, me needing to suddenly create an army out of nothing. So let's declare war on Genoa. Let's not call them our, our allies. They have been joined by theirs. And we are going to take them on. We're going to knock them out of their capital. Try to replenish as quickly as possible. Then march on to Turin. And then, I mean, damn, if, if in one episode we'll have... I won't be completely back to where I was before. But, you know, if we've consolidated a good chunk of northern Italy in the first episode, I'll feel a hell of a lot better. A oh, straight line of units is not always the best formation. Yes, it is. Oh, this is a great position for artillery. So I'm probably going to want to stick to the open ground. And they do have mortars, which I'm obviously concerned about. So let's put my cover on the left. The infantry on the right. Pikes might work their way through the town. General following the line of infantry. Come on, chaps. It's a really weird position to, to, to move my troops, but. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get any cheeky, easy hits on them. Let's just take all my guns and focus fire one battery on their troops. We'll fo get focus entire battery, all my batteries, onto their mortars. And they are going to go for my... Well, they usually always seem to go for my pikes. There's a lot of infantry coming down from the other direction. Maybe I move my pikes this way. And send them ready. Send them up to go and engage with their infantry. Let's run my infantry up. They're in a position. If these guys fancy it, the whole line just dump into square formation. Except for you guys now. I know you guys are clear. Get my pikes to start running. So I'm actually going to do. So I'm actually, get one infantry unit to go for them, and I'm going to try and thread the needle with another unit and try and see if I can mark them around to go and hit hit the mortar crews. safest thing I can do with my pikes is to get them into combat. Pretty rookie tick. Otherwise they're just going to get shot to pieces. At least this way there's a bit of a chance of collateral damage. Especially if you can just tear through them. The regiment of horse is just there to stay alive. Okay, good. 
go for them. All my artillery folks on that regiment of militia, I suppose. Charge straight through the combat. Go on, lads. They've very nicely moved that unit of infantry away from us. So, this unit on the flank is about to get into very serious trouble. Okay, the general's been killed because pikes are awesome. Farlock Arm Citizenry. Let's get this Regiment of Horse out of the combat. Let's move my General's Bodyguard up the hill. The General's Bodyguard's been broken. There we go, now they've been shattered. Mortar crews are coming back. It's got armed citizenry hitting my units back there. To be honest, you all just need to focus on one target. Got a militia unit making its way through the centre of town. Might be able to get a cheeky outflank going, but oh, I've not got the um, sound mod turned on. Or do I? I'm not sure. If I too honest, I don't remember. Too honest, I don't think I. I don't know actually. I'm so used to it, I can't tell if I've got it or not. Okay, let's push you guys up. Gunners hit that unit of militia. Bring my cavalry up. There we go. As far as them, I just fall back immediately and form a new defensive line. Cute. The gunners are returning to their guns. These guys are going to be awfully upset. Being shot on the flank from the second regiment of militia. into oblivion by my artillery. So let's retarget them against this unit of actually this unit of militia. My cavalry's got the far not come citizenry. Ah, they returned. My, my, my pike should get them to shatter. The pikes are going to tear through this garrison line unit. I 
actually let's get one of you to hit that unit of militia you go hit that unit of fire up on citizenry all of you guys gain on the charge yep they're broken already let's hope the artillery fire in the corner. It says they're winning slightly, but they're not so... They're winning so much, they're unhappy about it. Shattered. And there's everyone now, so let's just speed up time. Oh, there's not that many units left on the field. Send it there. Because that was a dash gun awesome attack. Our 600 men, and we've captured the town. When attacking a fort or city, a general can demand that the defenders surrender with the honors of war. Eh, why would you do that? The rake is. Use this I'm sure I did. The <sighs> I'm sure I've done all this. Try kill this guy. So that's that's recruiting getting square formation. Option. Settings. None. Bad advice can be funny. There you go. Time limit 60 minutes. Show CPUs. Okay. Um, so there's a chance they could just march straight for Milan. If they do, they do. Um, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. So let's hit and turn. I suspect though, if they do march, they can't really afford to ign ignore us in Genoa. So if they go for Milan, I'll take Turin, which is their capital, and then I'll drive east and take them out. Of course, it would be Lovely. so much nicer. I mean, that's just perfect. Because it means they've... Well, does Turin have walls in it by default? I can't remember. could be a fantastic idea or it could be a terrible one. So we've got roads in Naples. I mean you're still quite depleted. Try to take out the general. God you're not a very good agent are you? Unless I just march this army east. And kill this arm, kill this bunch of chaps. Because I'm not actually making as much money as I'd like. Let's check if I can trade. Crimean Carnate? Ooh. If I can try Britain, trade with Britain, that might help act as a shield against them invading me. 13 Carney still doesn't want to trade. Crimea might. Persia would be... Actually, no, Crimea would be more useful. Ah, too bad. Yeah, I'll pay you 240 bucks. Sweet. It's three grand. Let's check we've not got any... Okay, you're plus five for the army, so it's the same as what we've got at the moment. Plus four, management in general. And I'm tempted to swap these guys just to get rid of the unhappiness bonus. Plus one army, plus one treasury. Yeah, you're, you've also got lots of other good stuff. Plus five percent wealth generated from farms is pretty neat. I think that's all pretty good. I think. 
well, firstly, let's prepare the government building, but I also do want to take this army and just go and kill Vittorio Sinjochi. Like that. Oh, that's not annoying at all. Let's take you guys. Stupid AI. So they're going to be annoying and do lots of raiding. Let's get you back to Milan to stop them from being too angry. You go with them. You... Oh no, you can't go with them. God damn. So where am I building any expensive buildings? Let's stop building that. We've just got a bunch of cavalry, which... Which that can probably deal with. New Royal Air, Mona. So then you can go back to Genoa. You're being replenished. You're being replenished. Cool. Let's hit into So Britain's raiding commerce, but not mine, because we're trading, suckers. Here comes Spain, though, to probably... Oh no, they're clearing out the Barbary States. But everything else seems... Fine. Let's just wait to see how much of a nuisance they're going to be. No, no, they're desperately going to try and fall back to their capital city, but it's not going to work. So let's march. Well, let's march our force back to Genoa via that retreating army. Let's kill their cavalry and their general. I think the Barbary States just raided one of my ports. The devilish scoundrels. Las piratas. Okay, let's take you. Take him out. Let's get you back. Back to the capital. Well, not the capital. The region's capital. Let's get my spy... Sabotage their building level. Their, their building. Okay, now let's build my own workshops. Let's make sure you are replenishing, as are you. Let's probably move these troops up to support. The army, because they want to take, well, I want to send them to take Turin, then immediately spin them around to take Venice. Then we can take stock of where we are. One more turn to plug bayonets. Sweet. There we go. So in almost one hour special, I've blitzed through most of Northern Europe. Um, but I don't normally play as, as fast-paced as that because I just like I like enjoying my games at a normal pace. Like right now, I'm being overtly aggressive um, to make up the time. But ordinarily, I don't think there's much of a. I'm not that bothered about trying to make this thing a speed run. I just like being able to. I just like being able to play the game. I think it's a fun game. It's full Ottoman navy, but that looks like it's probably full of junk. Yeah, but you better get your get your troops in order, Savoy, because we are on the way. Here comes the Barbary States. I mean, they're coming within range of someone. And they're being attacked. Is it Savoy? Is Savoy sinking all the enemy ships before they get to my port? There we go. First Italian army. Workers riot in Liguria. Just breaking your own stuff, man. Oh, 
I can recruit a sixth rank. Is there much point in building a sixth? Well, when you've got nothing, I suppose. It's better than nothing. Your admiral's pretty hot stuff, but I'm afraid he's going down. Yeah, let's try kill your general. Ah! Your... Oh, I was going to say try kill your agent. Too bad. Let's grind out another intern. See, if I wasn't trading with them, I'd be a lot more concerned. But I am trading with Britain, so they don't hate me quite as much. Spaniards, on the other hand, they do hate me. They hate me a lot. But it's understandable, because I'm attacking and invading all their stuff. Yeah, my big army. I want them to go take Turin, head east, and go take Venice. And then I'll feel pretty damn good. And then the focus will be attacking... Well, actually, it looks like the Ottomans are driving north quite aggressively. And the Poles are driving east. I mean, that's also... Next turn, we'll be replenished, you fools. You've just deprived your garrison of three infantry for the sake of raiding my stuff. Just for that, you're going to make your capital that much more... Yeah, that much more easier to attack. See, why do I have a navy when Savoy is going to defend my ports for me? Ah, oh, they're near as damn it replenished. Okay, let's get a sloop recruiting in this port here. Let's go check up. Building browser. Let's take Naples and go build Governor's Mansion to help the growth of the region. We've got plug bayonets, so now this now we're gonna hop on to Do you want empiricism? Yeah, gains town wealth and reduces research time. There's no point sprinting for better bayonets at the moment. Oh, there's a whole bunch of mortars. Stay where you are. And let's maybe take you guys back to Genoa. Let's turn off building you. Instead, let's build a cavalry unit and an artillery unit. Because you are going to raid, aren't you? You bunch of militia. Unit recruited because we've got our sixth rate, but we don't really need to do anything with it. Except I might send it out to go and. Yes. Earn us a bit of extra cash. Although, why are we not earning much money at all? We were trading, but we've not got much to trade. Well, anything to trade. It's currently all regular goods. That's our guy. Spain and Portugal are at war. Come on, 13 colonies. No, I'm not going to sell you caster shot. Try grease the wheels with a humble 390 gold. I mean, I don't get how they can be so aggressive to me. Let's burn another in turn. So the Brits are currently dealing with the Spanish blockading their ports, which is lovely. I'm more than happy for them to do that. Well, the Ottomans carry on the traditional Ottoman dance. Because we all know they don't really do things quite right, do the Ottomans. I've said it before and I'll say it again. They go for the computer, not for the not for the game. That's their strategy. But at some point I've got to figure out my render settings for recording at 60 FPS. Retreat. They're probably going to get sunk anyway. Yeah. No, at least you didn't get captured. Hopefully they can't follow you. Hopefully. 
Ooh, they're selling forth. Ooh, we're quite close to the end of the part, but let's do it. Let's gut the majority of the Turin army. Then next turn, they'll be ripe for the assault. Well, next episode, they'll be ripe for the assault. Awesome. Oh man, this is... The terrain is less than ideal. But this is familiar. So obviously it's absolutely not ideal to deploy this far back, but... Well, it depends. Do I deploy normally? And if their mortars are advanced, they've advanced the mortars up, then I pull back. I suppose it's probably the best option. Because I do not want... Do I keep one unit back here just to keep firing? Because I do not want to get mortared to buggery. I mean, even if they are, if I just send some of my cavalry out on a flanking mission, it should be enough. Nope, they've deployed far back. Yep, their artillery ain't gonna do nothing. Anything, they may abandon their guns. Nope. So here comes the enemy. We can, for we can form square formation, so let's deploy our cavalry onto the field just to just to keep an eye on them. You let's all just start picking at their cavalry. Gunners have abandoned their mortars, their suckers. They've got their swords out and they're trudging forward. Just put on fast forward time just a little bit. Because right now, it's just their cavalry that's making a slight drive on the flank but we are felling a bunch of their horses now they're broken but they'll come back they've not lost that many men so they've managed to get a successful charge in on us but our regiment of horses stronger than their provincial cavalry Get my dragoons to the rear. Charge into the back of their cavalry. Okay, let's redeploy the troops. run my dragoons out of the way so if their militia do want to open fire they'll be shooting into the backs of their own men one cavalry unit pin them one cavalry unit pin them while the rest come on the flanks start blasting them with cast shot so you go straight in Militia on the flank. This is why we have our spiky boys. 
because they love they absolutely love it and you love guys with horses and this militia is getting destroyed too bad we didn't make them shatter let's try pick not maintain a cavalry reserve exactly, but keep some of our regiment of horse safe while the main battle fights onwards. But our pikemen are starting to make it to this guy. Drag him off his horse. We're trying to hit our units in the flank. Send all our cavalry in to help them out. Where's our pike? The troops getting very close range now. Damn, there's a very, very close range canister shot there. It's a mass retreat. Go on, militia. It's the second again. There you go. They're going to cut down this unit in droves. So let's take this unit, chase down that unit of militia. The rest just get up into position. Let's move all our cavalry into position. Oh, there they've got a full strength regiment of horse. We're going to need to take these guys out. Actually, no, one unit will be good to help chase down the bad guys. Abandon, not abandon this combat. I think you get you guys to put in put on plug bayonets and also go in to help out your tired cavalrymen. So plug bayonets means they can no longer actually fire. They're like pikemen now. Come on, Mon General. Let's turn firewall off there. Let's turn off firewall with my artillery. speed up time because the general's gonna have a right old time absolutely continue let's get all our cavalry to abandon the fight against those troops just send them here I mean I know they're just far like armed citizenry but if that's what's available then What's available? Well, there is some garrison line up here that would be nice to kill. They're all going after this single garrison line unit. Although there is a militia unit, but. Send one of them to go take out the garrison, the militia unit, sorry. This is a whole bunch of bodies. There we go. Charge in. 35 men remaining. And I don't want to charge my infantry in because I don't want to get absolutely destroyed on the charge. But 
That's pretty darn beautiful. Ah, some of them escaped. All the way over here. Yeah, they are going to make it. You. No, wait a minute. He's taunting you now, boys. <laughs> but it was a decisive victory, because that's completely gutted their forces. What have we got? A thousand remaining. Yep. You can raid, Savoy, because that's all you're going to do. You can't afford to stop me, see? See? Awesome. I mean, yeah, now they've raided my port because <laughs> the Savoy and Navy chased down my sixth rate. But first, let's go rescue said sixth rate because he's still alive. Just. Get back to Syracuse. So we have lost. We have lost some trade because they blockaded our port. That's why we'll probably end up having to secure it. Let's move these guys over to this army. To Enrico Capotto. Set them to replenish. We've got one gold left. Well, I mean, that's pr they're pretty much dead. I mean, look at that. Destroyed. So, I'm definitely going to the part there because of the length of the episode. But in one part, we've taken Naples, Genoa, Milan, Turin. We're not at war with France. We're arrived to go take Venice. And then we're actually in a fairly good position, except the fact we have no money because of these Barbary states. And in fact... Send Costanza to go take him out. Eh, no, we don't really need it. Sweet. Let's get this guy back to Syracuse. Awesome. And we've also got some valuable intelligence on... Actually, let's move this light galley up to here. The militia can stay with the army. Actually... Damaged sixth rate can go over to Nice as well to protect it. And be repaired there. Oh boy. Bear in mind the French did actually stop trading with us, so if we try trade again. Let's make a bit of temporary cash. Let's try trade with 13 colonies. Nope. Either way though, I think we're overall in a better position sweet but looking at the timer that's time to end the part so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for my my campaign as the italian states cheers everyone